Hello there, this is Steve. I'm just going to explore this concept of a different dynamic approach uh, for interface design. I have taken the opportunity to make three versions of the same thing, and I just wanted to explore how they all interact and if there is one or more that is more acceptable than others, or if there's uh, uncanny valley feeling between the different interactions. So. The intent here is to allow the user to create a time and date stamp in a separate table because there could be more than one. And the issue is, is that the data, once we edit it, has to be um, cached back here in the main table so that it can be sorted and um, found on and list views will be pretty quick because it's all local based on the information provided uh, because the other information is stored in the child table. So I have three different versions. Um, these two on the end are different versions that I'm playing with um, and we'll take a look at each of them. So the first option was to click on a popover and the popover works pretty well. Um, you know you can pick your time and date, um, duration, um, this is kind of in lieu since FileMaker doesn't have a really decent time uh, picker. <laughs> so this is a, a way to get around that time picker because people can't seem to type time very easily into a field. Um, so this is the one approach. And what we did is with a trigger on the overlay or a trigger on the actual popover window, um, it's makes it modal so I can't click out of this here um, so if I cancel it or save it it will go do its thing now in this iteration of this version what I am doing is I am transferring all the real data from the child record into global fields as you can see down here and then I'm interacting only with the global data until I actually save and commit the record. Now, that's an old crutch that I've used for a long time. It works pretty well, but there are some pretty compelling reasons probably not to do that. Uh, depending on how many people could be accessing the system, I could start modifying stuff here and go to lunch and have this pop-up open and somebody else does something and <laughs> You know, because I'm cached my data in the in the global fields. If I come back and you know enter the data, it could overwrite whatever somebody else thought they did perfectly. So there's some considerations in that respect, and so I'm not leaning on this interface, um, uh, at least using the global uh, values. So that was one option. So I'm going to cancel out of that one. Now the other interface design I did was a um, uh, was a slide panel. So I can actually click on this record here and see how that interacts. So that basically changes this panel to a specific panel where I can actually interact with it. Now in this iteration, I am physically setting the data each time, not just the um, I'm not. I'm only storing the global fields so that I can revert back to it if I choose to. Um, but I am only picking or only setting the real fields, um, interacting with the real fields directly, and it also caches the parent record data every time I do something. So it's never far out of sync. Um, so that's one method to to do this. So. This one works pretty well um, in this particular design constraint. You know, I'm, I'm limited to how much I can probably put in here. Um, um, so this is some consideration. In this version, because it's a slider, I could, if I wanted to, put a portal in here versus, you know, buttons, where with the other version, I could not because I'm already in a portal as a popover, so I could not put any um, uh, portals in here because I'm already in a portal. Um, this method here, the popover method, um, I found out pretty quickly that 
because I have two different portals talking to the same base table, um, any tweaks or fixes or modifications to this, I have to make in both locations. And that seemed a little bit um, daunting knowing that I have to maintain two different versions of pretty much essentially the same thing. So that's one thing I, I'm not too much in love with this version. The final option would be the ability to um, just go directly into a um, as, as a new window. Oops, that's not the one. Done. Try this one. So this just pops open a new window. It's a modal window, so I can't do anything else outside it. I haven't um, adjusted any um, scripts to the to the window close operation, but for the most part, this is working with the exact record that's basically over here. And I'm, again, working directly with the real fields, the real data fields, not transactionally, but actually physically on the real field itself. And also pushing the data back into the parent record. So this approach can be a little bit easier to maintain. Plus I could always scale as I need for different features or functions. Um, Oh, see a little bug there um, as the client may want um, again and it also because this is a a layout I could actually put in here um, uh, a portal for other data if I needed to so I lean towards this approach the only caveat is is deployment on Windows I don't know if the client has Windows or Macs but um, it's always been a long-standing issue with doing you know smaller window popovers in windows the way it interacts with other windows um, so it's that's probably the only consideration i have um, it's not as an uncanny valley approach doing it this way versus the you know the popover i don't know just sometimes i feel like i don't i've lost the focus just isn't as great um, I can't, there are techniques to dim the background to keep your focus on what's at hand, but again, I'm not um, too in love with this approach. And also because the ability to um, maintain two sets, if I were to put a button or a popover outside, then it's not connected to the item I just clicked on. So there's that consideration as well. Um, the other issue I have to consider is in the slider panel is that there's a lot more exit points that a person can take over here. And even though the data is cached, the one that isn't adjusted for is switching records. So I've switched records, but the record's talking to the wrong... <laughs> to the wrong um, data value. So I have to figure out exactly how to mm, switch back to the parent uh, slider panel when I navigate away without really having layout triggers. Sometimes they get annoying to me. Um, there's no way to, uh, I haven't discovered a way to, um, when I switch records other than a layout trigger to get rid of, go back to the default. So. I'm still working on that part. Um, I haven't uh, settled on one, so I'd like to hear your experience. Uh, go ahead and make a comment and let me know what you think.